Hello children, welcome to physics learning point. In this video, we are discussing angle of minimum deviation and derivation of formula for refractive index of a prism. So now, let us enter into our topic. First, angle of minimum deviation. So here, P, Q, R is the outer line of a prism and AB is a incident ray which is incidenting on PQ at point M. Here this is the normal line. Now I1 is the angle of incident and here the R1 is the angle of refraction and this light ray emerging out from PR and this light ray emerging at the point N and here it is the normal line and the MN is the path of light ray inside the prism. Then if we extend this incident light ray and the emergence light ray till the point where they meet. So here the point these two extended incident light ray and emergent light ray both are intersecting here and the angle between this incident light ray and emergent light ray is to be angle of deviation. Why we are calling this angle as angle of deviation? Because if there is no prism, the light ray should move in this path in straight line. But because of this presence of prism, it is passing in this direction. So this much angle, the light ray, instant light ray is deviating. So that's why this angle is said to be angle of deviation. What happens? If we increase this angle of incidence, if you change this angle of incidence, the angle of emergence also changes and angle of incidence changes, the angle of deviation also changes. If we increase this angle of incidence, first the angle of deviation decreases and reaches a minimum value and if you keep on increase this angle of incidence after reaching a minimum deviation again starts increasing with increase of angle of incidence. So in this way the angle of deviation gets a minimum value at particular for the particular incidence angle. Then the minimum angle of deviation is nothing but angle of minimum deviation and it is denoted with capital D. Then what is the speciality of this angle of minimum deviation? Whenever the angle of deviation is minimum, then the angle of incidence and the angle of emergence both becomes equal. and also R1 equal to R2 and one more thing the path of the light ray inside the prism parallel to the base of the prism. So, so the path of the light ray inside the prism will be parallel to the base when the angle of deviation is minimum. So this is the angle of minimum deviation. Uh, let us derive the derivation of formula for the refractive index of the prism. So here from this ray diagram, from this ray diagram, so here we can observe a triangle O M N. So from the triangle O M N, then 
here the angle of deviation is exterior angle for this OMN triangle. We know that the angle of exterior is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. So, angle of exterior is equal to sum of opposite two interior angles. So, here these two angles equal to the angle of deviation or exterior angle. Then what is this angle? So, here this total angle is I1. These two angles are same. If you subtract R1 from I1, then we will get this angle. This angle is nothing but I1 minus R1. Here also, this total angle is equal to I2. Then if we subtract R2 from I2, we will get the angle I2 minus R2. So now I am writing D equal to the exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles I1 minus R1 plus I2 minus R2 then D equal to I1 plus I2 i1 plus i2 and i am taking common from minus r1 and minus r2 minus is taken as, as common r1 plus r2 let us say this is the first equation now come to this red diagram now here if you observe the triangle P M N from the triangle P M N here A is the angle of prism and so from the triangle P M N in this the total angle in a triangle is 180 degrees so total angle is 180 degrees that is angle of prism the first angle plus next here the second angle is up to here we know that the angle this is the normal line for PQ so up to here the angle is 90 degrees if you subtract R1 from 90 degrees we will get angle up to here so for this angle what we are doing you have to subtract 90 R1 from the 90 degrees here also same this is the normal line for PR and up to here this is 90 degrees but here we need only this angle and this is the angle 90 minus R2. So, A plus 90 minus R1, 90 degrees minus R1 plus 90 degrees minus R2. Here I am subtracting R2 from 90 degrees to get this angle. So, 90 minus R2. So, 180 degrees A plus 90 plus 90, 180. And again, here I am taking minus from minus R1 and minus R2. So, then it becomes R1 plus R2. Then, 180 degrees, 180 degrees get cancelled. And A equal to R1 plus R2. And let us say this is the second equation. And 
substituting the value of r1 plus r2 or second equation in the first equation because here r1 plus r2 instead of this r1 plus r2 i am substituting a so d equal to i1 plus i2 minus a or a plus d equal to i1 plus i2 so this is the third equation and next now for the calculation of refractive index of the prism what i am doing i am using the snell's law according to snell's law n n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r here n1 is the refractive index of the first medium i is the angle of incidence and n2 is the refractive index of second medium and r is the angle of refraction for the first refraction so here this is the first refraction and it is the second refraction first the light is traveling in the air and entering into denser medium so here i am applying the snell's law for the first refraction here n1 is the first medium is air the refractive index of air is 1 then angle of incidence we have taken angle of incidence as i1 so i equal to i1 then n2 n2 is the refractive index of prism generally prism is made up of glass then the re refractive index of the prism i am taking as n and angle of refraction so r1 r equal to r1 then substituting these values so n1 equal to 1 so then sin i i1 and n2 equal to n sin and r equal to r1 sin r1 so let us say this is the fourth equation and now i am applying the snell's law for the second refraction now here first the light ray is traveling in the glass or prism and entering into air so here the n1 is glass so refractive index of the glass is n and the angle of incidence here this is the angle of incidence so r2 i equal to r2 then the it, the light ray is entering into air so refractive index of the air n2 is 1 and angle of refraction is nothing but the angle of emergence so r equal to i2 and substituting these values in snell's law so n instead of n1 i am writing n and sin angle of instant is r2 n sin r2 and n2 it is entering into air so refractive index of the air is 1 so sin or the angle of refraction nothing but angle of emergence that is i2 this is the fifth equation then if the angle of deviation is minimum then what happens we know that whenever angle of deviation is minimum the angle of incidence and angle of emergence both are equal and also the r1 equal to r2 and the path of the light ray inside the prism is parallel to the base here we know that a equal to r1 plus r2 
so here this value we can write it as a equal to 2 r1 because r1 equal to r2 or otherwise you can write it as a equal to r a equal to 2 r2 then r1 equal to a by Similarly, from the equation 3, a plus d equal to i1 plus i2. If the angle of deviation is minimum, then we can write, we know that i1 equal to i2. So, we can write a plus d equal to 2i1 or a plus d equal to 2 i 2 because both are i 1 or i 2 both are equal then here i 1 equal to a plus d by 2 or i 2 equal to a plus d by 2 substituting these values r 1 and i 1 in the equation 4 okay so sin i sin i1 a plus d by 2 and n sin r1 n sin r1 r1 is nothing but a by 2 a by 2 here we need refractive index n equal to sin a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2 this is the formula for the refractive index of a prism you can use the r2 equal to a by 2 and also i2 equal to a plus d by 2 okay and you can substitute these r2 or i2 values in the equation 5 you will get same equation okay this is the refractive index of the prism this is about our topic thank you